I'm going to make a picture to remind me of the welcome that Jesus got when entering Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Can you make one like me? First, I dip my feet in the paint. Let's go to Jerusalem. It's Passover, said Jesus to his friends. Watch out, paint can be slippy. Next, I made palm leaves using my feet. When Jesus arrived in Jerusalem, the people were waving palm leaves at him, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. I love jumping around and making the palm leaves. Next, time for handprints. I made some waving hands. Sprinkle some glue and stick down some tissue paper. This could be the coats and scarves people lay at Jesus' feet. Some took off their clothes and laid them in front of the donkey. Others cut palm branches from the trees and waved them about. There were hundreds, maybe thousands, clapping and dancing and shouting their way through the city gates. Everyone was happy. This is my finished picture. Hope you enjoy making yours. Bye. Wow, your feet are really dirty, aren't they? Let's get those feet washed. This reminds me of when Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. In Jesus' time, people wore sandals all the time because of the weather. Back then, roads were dirty. They were not paved like ours are now. People's feet got very sandy and dirty from walking around. When they came into the house, they would wash their feet before walking through the house so that they did not track dirt throughout the house. So Jesus got up from the meal and took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realise now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash your feet, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, Those who have had a bath need to only wash their feet. Their whole body is clean. Jesus was their teacher and their leader, but he washed their feet as a way to show how to be a servant and serve others. What clean feet I've got. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Hey everyone and welcome to this week's activity video. Now, as you can probably guess by the blocks on the floor, we're going to be building something this week. It's getting very close to Easter, so I thought that we could build something to do with Easter. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build a cross. 
I want you all to go and grab your blocks, your bricks, your Lego, your Duplo, your stickle bricks, whatever you've got to build with, and join me as we build a cross today. The cross for Christians worldwide is a symbol of love. In Psalm 33, it tells us about how the world is full of God's love. And in 1 John 4, it tells us that we love because God first loved us. Romans 8 says that we'll never ever be separated from God's love. And Matthew 22 tells us that we shall love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul and with all our mind. God loves us so much. God loves you so much. And we know that if we let him into our lives and that we follow him and believe in him, he will teach us how to love others the same way that he loves us. Guys, I'm gonna let the recording just keep going so you can watch me finish building my cross. At the end, you can see a few different designs I built for the cross. I want you guys to be really creative with this. Use as many different color bricks as you can and build your cross and then send them in to Pastor Chantal so that we can see what you've done this week. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Bye. And remember guys, when you finish building, make sure to tidy up. See you in next week's video. Bye.